All right, so hello everyone. I'm sorry I was running late, but I was coming for my class right now. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Mauricio Lima. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. All right, so how were you tonight? The last class of the week. Okay. Last class of the week. So, um, let me just get the presentation over here and then we take it from there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, just one second over here. <clears throat> Okay, one moment, please. Okay. Mm. All right, so for tonight, I have a, lo a lot of uh, activities uh, ready for you. You know, hopefully you're gonna have the opportunity to practice. We have conversations, the word of the night, and some other things for you. Okay, listening, exercises, and everything. Okay, so here we go. I think that the words of tonight, you're going to like it because some of you are going to feel identified when you were students in high school, maybe. Okay? <laughs> you're going to tell me yes or no about this. Okay, so just one second over here. And here we go. The word of the night is easy way out. I mean, it's, this is an expression actually, okay? And I have this, uh, the complete phrase, you know, the one I'm about to show you right now. The expression is uh, take the easy way out, all right? So this is the expression that, that we're gonna be practicing tonight. To take the easy way out means an easy way of doing something or of dealing with a problem, but not the right way or the best way. So buscar la la forma más fácil. You know that's what I'm talking about over here. And I have an example for you. Example sentence. He gets what he wants by hard work, never by taking the easy way out. So what do you prefer? To, to take the easy way out or to get things the hard way? You know, when you learn things the hard, you know, sometimes, you know, our children or students or we learn some lessons when we were kids the, uh, the hard way. ¿verdad? Aprendimos a la mala, right? So that's the hard way. Imagine this. Imagine that you have to complete the platform at Inglés Corporativo. So you have to go exercise number one, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. 1 but if you don't have the time or if you know uh, already the information, sometimes, you know, you can take the easy way out. ¿verdad? El camino más corto, right? This is the expression over here. And since this is an expression, all you, all you gotta do is just to use it as an example. So let me ask you, who can give me an example of this expression, you know, to take the easy way out? For example, I can say, I didn't do the homework, all right? I just copied information from another student, from another friend. So I took the easy way out, you know, I like, you know, to take the easy way out, all right? Can somebody give me an example of this expression right now? Anybody, please? Alguien me ayuda con un ejemplo de esta expresión? If you can use an example of this. <coughs> Yep, anybody or should we move forward with this? 
I mean, it's okay if you don't know uh, or if you cannot think of an example right now, you, you may think of this later on. ¿Verdad? Es buscar el camino más corto o la forma más fácil de hacer algo. Okay. But, for example, if you're the opposite, if you do your best, for example, si da lo mejor de usted, you don't take the easy way out. Never, right? So, like this. All right? So, and, and when you complete the <coughs> when you complete the English platform, yes, uh, Frank, go ahead. Uh, maybe uh, I uh, use the translator to learning English is the easy way out. Okay, yeah, translating, right? Translating is the easy way out. That's correct. That's right. That's a great example. That's right. But we got to learn easy, maybe not the hard way, but the way it's supposed to be, right? That's what we're doing right now. And, you know, that's the purpose of my classes. Because I could just go easily into the platform and just tell you. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about the platform? And then you can tell me, teacher, yes, I have these questions. And then the 60 minutes of the class, you know, are over. And that's the easy way out. That's for me, right? Okay. So, uh, yeah, any other example that you can think of right here? If you don't have one, that, uh, uh, yes, go ahead, please. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to move, you know, to the next exercise right now, okay? Because I really want you to, to start, you know, practicing and, and, and speaking English, you know, for, for to start with over here. All right? Wait. So, uh-huh. <laughs> Ah, yes. <laughs> for example, for example, is in my job, uh, many problems. I I easy way out. Way out. Uh huh. Yeah, you may so, say yeah. I have a lot of problems at, at, at work, you know, or at my job, but I never take the easy way out because you do your best. Ah, but. Okay. Yes. Pero yo, uh -huh. You don't take a shortcut, you know, you don't take a shortcut. Okay, un atajo. You don't take a shortcut over there. You know, because you, you like to do the things the right way. So, and that's what we're doing over here. So, as you can see, uh, right now I have in front of you a conversation. What's the name of the conversation you have in front of you, ladies and gentlemen? Guy's watching. Uh huh. Guy's watching. Guy is watching, right? Yeah, and he's, he's watching all the time. So what we're going to do, the first theme of the evening, it's to practice three conversations, okay? So, and uh, the first conversation meets, God is watching, all right? But I also have uh, uh, two more conversations. The second conversation is, let me just uh, share it with you. The, uh, the second conversation is, what's on TV, all right? And then you can play the listening just to listen to the uh, right pronunciation over there. And that's what I want you to do right now. And then you're gonna practice this with a partner. Okay, I'm gonna send you to the breaker rooms. Okay. So remember, don't take the easy way out. <laughs> All right, so that's the second one. The first one is, God is watching. Number two is, what's on TV, All right? And I got a number uh, three for you, you know, a third one for you. Okay, and I'm gonna share it with you in a second, right now. The third conversation is, I live in Pasadena, okay? Pasadena, California. So, God is watching what's on TV and I live on Pasadena. Right now, as I'm speaking, I'm gonna send to you the uh, access information for you so you can have the three uh, conversations. God is watching. Uh, what's on TV and the last one I live in Pasadena so check your whatsapps you know I just send the second one to you right now and sending the third one right away you know we're not supposed to waste time in this class and here we go so right now we have let's see 18 participants that's nice or, or like, like 19 so no problem I'm gonna make purse so you can practice the conversation okay 
and here we go. Um, nice. You know, we have even numbers, o sea, parejos. So we got even numbers, so we have nine pairs in here. So Christopher is with Jose Ramirez, Arely with Roberto, Delia with Jacqueline, Isael with Janet, etc., etc., right? So try to join, please, the breaker rooms uh, so you help your partner, all right? I'll be visiting you, be visiting you, right? Here we go. This is another, uh, where do you live? Oh, it's a, it's, 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 this is the second. Okay, I live in Pasadena. I live in Pasadena, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you live? Uh, I live in Pasadena. Where is Pasadena? It's in California. It is in Northern California? No, it's in Southern California. Is Pasadena a big city? It's pretty big. How big is pretty big? It has about um, One hundred forty thousand people. How big is Los Angeles? Um, it has about three million people. Uh, Los Angeles, right? Or LA? Mm -hmm. Los Angeles. So just to be okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to be clear, so. Mm. Uh, I am um, practice. God is watching and what's on TV, please. Thank you. Um, right now. Okay. Okay. I, I am bored. What on TV? Nothing. There must be some something Nothing. on TV. Nothing that's interesting. What about the new game show? Which um, which one? Uh, deal or no deal? Tell me your joking. I love that show. I watched it once. That was enough. Enough. It's on right now. Let's watch. In together. Okay. Next. In li I live in Pasadena. Okay, in Peso. Where do you live? I live in Pasadena. Where is Pasadena? Pasadena, right? Pasadena. Okay, I live in Pasadena. No. Thousand, thousand people. Okay. Uh, how big is Los Angeles? How big is Los Angeles? It has, it has about three million people. Okay. Uh, bueno. Okay. Alguna. Palabra nueva en la otra había una en el dos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Deal, que es de 
voy a buscarlo. ¿Qué fue la conversación, Mansur? ¿Qué fue la conversación, Mansur? ¿Hola? Sí, ¿qué fue la palabra? No, ver. ¿Qué es dial o no dial en la conversación? Oh, yeah. Look at my screen. I'm sharing the screen with you. Can you see the screen? Okay. Yeah. This is this is the program that uh, we watch on channel four. Trato hecho. You know, deal or no deal. You know, deal okay. or no deal. Deal means hacer un trato. You know, to say yes or say no. Or, 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 or. Ah. Oh, okay. And also, deal means lidiar con, like I deal with a problem, all right? So deal mm -hmm. with a problem, so that's deal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let me just, we're gonna go back. Good evening. Yep, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm sorry I'm late. No, don't worry about it. Right now, your classmates were practicing three conversations. Thank but, you. yeah, uh, check your WhatsApp. Are you in the WhatsApp group or not? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what you have. I'm going to break, uh, I'm going to close the rooms so everybody come back to the main station right now, okay? Okay. All right, so welcome back everyone. I'm just going to mute your microphones right now. I'm just gonna uh, ask three volunteers over here. Okay, so let me just choose, choose three volunteers. So the first one, who wants to practice, actually, I mean three pairs. So living, uh, I live in Pasadena. Who wants to practice this? I need two volunteers. So Kevin, you're the first one, and then Lorena, you're the me. second one. Thank you. Me. Me. Yes, and okay, so Carla, you're gonna practice the second okay. conversation, okay? Okay. So right now we have Kevin and then Lorena. Go ahead, please. Me? Yes. All right. Uh, Lorena, you're mute. You're muted. I begin with A. Okay. What do you need? Yeah, per eight with Kevin. I Kevin, go ahead, please. Okay. I live in Pasadena. What is Pasadena? It's in California. It is in Northern California? No, it's in, in Southern California. Is Pasadena a big city? It's pretty big. How big is pretty big? It has about 140,000 people. How big is Los Angeles? It has about 3 million people. All right, so thank you so much. So the next one was Carla. And let me choose Noemi because Noemi was not in here and then she needs to practice, she said. All right, so let me just one second over here. Let me get the, the other conversation me here. Okay, the next one is what's on TV. So we got Carla uh, Cerritos plus Noemi. So. Okay. I'm bored. What's on TV? Nothing. There must be something on TV. Nothing what's interesting. What about that new game show? Which one? Deal or no deal? Tell me your hockey. I love that show. I watch it once. That was enough. enough. It's on right now. Let's watch it together. Let's watch it together. Okay. Thank you. You know, deal or no deal, it's, it's this TV program that it's broadcasted on Channel 4 in which you got to uh, uh, make a deal or not. They offer you a, a briefcase with some uh, amount of money. Okay. Back in, I don't know, like 10 years ago, it was Daniel Rooks, the one in charge of this program, okay? 
So deal or no deal. All right. So joking. That's the pronunciation. And then we have enough. Yeah. Enough. Enough. All right. So conversation number three. Who wants to help me over here? I mean, mm. raise your hand, please, in the program because I cannot see everyone over here. Yeah. All right, Frank, right? Okay, and who else? Yeah, raise your hand, please, using the, 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 the program over here. Yeah, okay, let me choose then uh, Frank and Arturo. So help us, please. All right? Okay. Okay, let me just share the screen with you very quickly. Let me just one second over here. Uh, here we go. Now, I'm going to mute your, um, everybody's microphones. So, yeah, Frank and, and Arturo, you are muted, so unmute yourself. Go ahead, please. It's Sunday. So, you know what it means? <laughs> I forgot. Sunday means we got the church. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put on the cup and tie. Mm -hmm. Why? To show respect to God and others. Mm -hmm. I'm glad Sunday it's only once a week. <laughs> I hope God did. Did you hear that right? <laughs> uh -huh, Arturo. Uh, he'll forgive me. He'll forgive me, right? Yeah, he will forgive you. <laughs> You're very disrespectful, right? Le va a un rayo. Yeah. All right, so let's continue with this, everyone. I have a listening exercise for you tonight, and that's the first one of the evening, by the way. That's the second activity we're going to be completed. I'm sorry about this. All right, this one. So the name of the exercise is listening. What's your last name again? So what's your last name again? You're, you're going to listen to the conversation and then complete information about each person. So Chris, what's the last name? All right. And where is Chris from? The second one, last name is Sanchez. We don't know the first name and we don't know where that person is from, if it's a girl or a boy. And then the number three, we have Minhu. For Minhu, it's uh, the first name and the last name we don't know. The last name and neither the uh, country where she's from. Okay, so let me play the listening. And what you're going to do, please take notes, listen to my screen. Uh, but I think I think I'm going to send uh, this to you so you can have it. I think it's better. Okay, so let me send this to you right now. So uh, let me just one second over here. I'll be sending this to the WhatsApp right away. Okay. And one, two, three. It's loading. Now I'm uh, sharing the screen again. Okay. So one more, one more second over here. And uh, okay. all right, one second, please. All right, so I have the audio over here. And I also have the, uh, I mean, the image, so you can have it there. Yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot minimize this, you know, more. But remember, okay, it's, uh, oops. What did I do over here? Sorry about that. But you got the image, right? Yes, we have yeah, so just watch the image, please, and then just try to fill in the blanks over there, please. All right, one, two, three, here we go. Page six, exercise 10, listening. What's your last name again? Listen to the conversations. Complete the information about each person. One. Chris, this is my friend Lucy. We're in the same English class. Hi, Lucy. I'm Christopher Olson but everyone calls me Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. What's your last name again? It's Olsen. O-L-S-E-N. And where are you from, Chris? I'm from here, the United States, originally from Los Angeles. Wow. How do you like Los Angeles? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite city. 
too. Okay, Ms. Sanchez, let me just check this information. Is your first name spelled I-S-A-B-E-L? No, it's not. My first name is Isabella. It's spelled I-S-A-B-E-L-A. -E okay, thanks. And you're from Argentina, right? <laughs> no. I'm not from Argentina. I'm from Mexico. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mexico. But you are studying English. Actually, I'm not. I'm a business student. Business. Okay, got it. Three. Excuse me, are you Hyun Kim? Yes, I am. Is your brother Min Ho Kim? Yes, he is. Tell me. Is Minho still here at the university? No, he's not. He's at home in South Korea. Oh, he's in South Korea? Is he in school there? Yeah, he's at Seoul University this semester. All right, so we're, we're not able to listen to the, uh, to the spelling, right, of the, of the third one. So that's weird. Okay, but um, let me ask you, so what's that Chris last name? Olsen. Olsen. It's Olsen, right? Yeah. Olsen, and how, and how do you spell that? How do you spell that? O-L-S-E-N-L-E-N. All right, let, let, let's do something, let's do something. Could you send, could you send the uh, spelling of Olsen to the WhatsApp, please, to the chat? Yeah, can you send it to the WhatsApp, please? Yeah, in that way we can double check it over there. Yes, uh, Rosa, you wanna say something? Yeah, Miss, Miss Lopez? Yeah, it's Olsen. That's the way it is. Correct. Olsen. O L A S E N. And uh, where is where is he from? O L S. Yeah, it's Olsen. That's the way it is. All right. He's from United States. He's from United States. And but the city, what what was the city? Angeles. From? Los Angeles. Angeles. Los Angeles. Exactly. Exactly. It's from Los Angeles. Angeles. From LA, you can say, uh, you can say LA, all right? Okay. Or you can say Los Angeles, all right? Okay. All right, just like that. He, or, or in general, right, you may say he's from the United States or from the USA, but specifically he's from LA. Okay, so the first one, at first it was difficult, right? Because she spells the name, but then she says, a uh, Spanish name, right? And it's easy for you, I think. What's the name? Isabella. <laughs> Isabella. Yeah, Chabelita, right? Right. Yeah, Isabella. And the last name is Sanchez. I didn't get, actually, I didn't get the uh, the last name of, of the uh, third one, Mi Hu. I, I don't remember, actually. What is it? Did you get it? K E N. K E N. All right. I'm going to play the listening. Okay, Rosa, you want to say something? Uh, Rosa? No, no, no. All right. <laughs> let me let me play the listening. Let me play the listening again. And this time you're going to uh, pay attention to details, you know, besides the first last name and where each person is from. You're going to pay attention to uh, some other questions. Like, uh, where is your brother? You know, the, the one person asks. And then Minho uh, answers, he's studying, he's in Seoul, he's in South Korea, etc. So those are the details that I want you to pay attention to right now. And please write them down. It's better if you write the details down so you don't forget later on, okay? Here we go. Page six, exercise 10, listening. What's your last name again? Listen to the conversations. Complete the information about each person. 1. Chris, this is my friend Lucy. We're in the same English class. 
Hi, Lucy. I'm Christopher Olson, but everyone calls me Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. What's your last name again? It's Olson. O L S E N. And where are you from, Chris? I'm from here, the United States. Originally from Los Angeles. Wow. How do you like Los Angeles? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite city. Two. Okay, Ms. Sanchez, let me just check this information. Is your first name spelled I S A B E L? No, it's not. My first name is Isabella. It's spelled I S A B E L A. Okay, thanks. And you're from Argentina, right? <laughs> no, I'm not from Argentina. I'm from Mexico. Oh, sorry, Mexico. But you are studying English. Actually, I'm not. I'm a business student. Business. Okay, got it. Three. Excuse me, are you Hyun Kim? Yes, I am.、Mm -hmm. Is your brother Min Ho Kim? Yes, he is.、Mm -hmm. Tell me, is Min Ho still here at the university? No, he's not. He's at home in South Korea. Oh, he's in South Korea. Is he in school there? Yeah, he's at Seoul University this semester. All right. So、uh, you're not going to tell me the answer. I mean, I, I don't need to know the answer right now. L just save them for later, okay? Because I'm going to split you again. You know, I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms, and in there you're going to share share the details. Like now, I understood the last name. It's actually simple. It, it starts with a K. Minho, last name starts with a K.、Uh, Mrs. Sanchez,、uh, I mean, Miss Sanchez、uh, answers that she's she's not a student of a specific subject, and she's studying something. And then Chris、uh, tells something about Los Angeles. Because the question is, what is Los Angeles like? Okay, and something just like that. So, if you have your notes with you, save them for later, please. We're gonna continue with the next activity over here. Okay,、uh, and take a look at this. That question is getting to know you. All right. In the in this case, I'm going to split you.、Uh, let's say into groups of three. Okay. And you're gonna ask and answer the following questions, just like this. Imagine this is Lady Gaga, and you're asking, "Excuse me, Lady Gaga, is Gaga your first name or last name?" And and that's that's actually funny, I think. So you're going to interview two classmates, and then I'm going to send you again uh, to uh, ask the same questions to some other classmates, and you're gonna share the information in front of the class. Okay. For example, if I ask,、uh, let's see over here, Lorena, I, I can ask you. I, I know your name in here, right? What's your first name? But okay,、um, you can you can change this information. You can ask, what's your、uh, best friend's last name, or what is your husband, your your daughter, your son, your wife,、uh, your mom, your dad. You can ask. You can change these questions, okay? But if you want, you you can use them. In the end, you're gonna share the information with the rest of the class. For example, if I use, let's see, Miss Mrs. Mrs. Pena, you can tell me. Okay,、uh, you talk to Frank Gonzalez, for example. So, and Frank tells you,、uh, you can say,、uh, so his his last name is Gonzalez, and it's spelled like this. His、uh, birthday is on, let's say, December, and his favorite color is this.、Uh, he his hobbies, he does this, this, and that. So that's what you're going to do. Okay. But you're gonna ask the questions and, and take notes, all right, about your classmates. This is the the second thing. The first thing is just to share the information about、uh, Isabella Sanchez, Chris Olsen, and Minho Kim. I mean his brother. I mean her brother. On this thing. All right. Are we good? All right, so I'll be、uh, dividing you in pairs. 
but I'll be sending the, the second image to you in a second to the chat, okay? Just one second here. There you go. The first room is, is uh, made of four. It's Ana, Ana Ruth, uh, Ernesto Portillo, Roberto, and then the second uh, group is Isabel, I mean Isael, uh, Jacqueline, Mauricio, Lorena, the third one, Rosa, and Janet. So go ahead, please. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, what's your name? What's your first name? Okay. Um, my first name is Lorena. Uh, my first name is Rosa. Okay. My first okay. name is Janet. Okay. okay. Rosa and Janet. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's your last name? My last name is Peña. And, and Janet, <laughs> what's your last name? Leon. 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 Leo. How do you spell, how, how, how do you spell okay. that? Ask, how, how do you spell? L-E-O-M. <laughs> L-E-O-M. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. A E A E N No G A M E G M E S. All right, so I'm sorry, may I help you on something? Can I give you a tip? Yeah. Yes, if it's difficult, uh, you can use uh, words like, for example, my, my last name is Cruz, right? And so what's the spelling? I can see C, uh, Carlos, uh, R, Rosa, U, Umbrella, Z, Zebra, just like that. Okay, so that helps. You know, you can use the phonetics uh, alphabet. Um. What city are you from, Roberto? You from Quetzaltepec, uh -huh. <laughs> El Salvador. Of course, right? San <laughs> Pablo Mundo. Yeah. Thanks. And, and when's your birthday? Uh, on the June uh, 2nd. 2nd? Second. What? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Where are your hobby? My hobby is listen to music and read also. Okay. okay. Very okay. good. Ahora continuamos. Le pregunto a, a quién. A Mauricio. <laughs> okay. What What's your first name? My name is Mauricio. Okay. What's your last name? My last name is Okay, 
what city are you from? My city is Chachuapa. Well, you can say I'm from, I'm from Chachuapa. I'm from, I'm I'm from, from Chachuapa. Or my hometown, you may say hometown too. My city, I'm from, I'm from Chachuapa. Um, okay. Okay. When's your birthday? My birthday is 10th, December 10th. December the 10th, right, all right. Okay. What's your favorite color? My favorite color? It's good, <laughs> good. Uh, okay. no What's your hobby? Uh, my hobby is watch videos in YouTube. <laughs> Okay, what's videos? What's videos? Okay, ahora me tocaré mi pregunta, ¿no es cierto? Eh, Arturo, what's your first name, Arturo? My first name is is Jose. What's your last name? My last name is Ramirez. You, you can also say it's Ramirez, just like that, or just Ramirez, so no problem. Yeah, it's Ramirez, or my last name is Ramirez. How do you spell? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you can spell? Yes, you can yes. spell. You can spell. Yes. Uh, R-A-M-I-R-E-Z. Mm -hmm. zebra. Like zebra, like zebra, right? Like Brazil. What city are you from? I'm from Santana City. Thank you. <laughs> When's your birthday? Sí, Lorena. Ah, pero okay, sí, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, my first name is Rosa. My last name is Lopez. Um, uh, I live in Santa Ana. My birthday is in April 3. <laughs> my favorite color is black, and I like to watch in, to watch uh, movies. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Now we have to, to finish the opening. What's your last name again? To, to complete the other, the other the part about which or no, you don't have to do that right now. Yeah, we actually, yes, you were supposed to do it too. So, yes, okay. yes, Rosa? <laughs> yeah, just uh, <laughs> um, how do you say um, the um, the birthday? It, uh, my birthday is in April. Three or you say it, uh, it my birthday my uh, birthday is on a, April the third. It's on the third. April the third. April the third. Mm. If you say if you say just the month, you gotta say it is in, it's in May. If it's only the month, you say it's in May. But if you say the the month and the day, you say my birthday is on for example, my birthday. My birthday is on May the 4th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. May the 4th and May the 3th. And for example, Janet, her birthday is in July 2023. Uh, it's on July the, 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 the 23. July, July 23rd. 23rd. 20, 23rd. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. In Lorena, uh, August 10th. August 10th, all right. August yes, 10. so do you have any details about this, about these people? Uh, we have Christopher, is, the last name is, his last name is Olsen, right? And where is he from, we said? From LA, right? Okay. What about the, what about, um, what is Los Angeles like? They said. What is Los Angeles like? They said. Do you remember? Is 
city is great. Is his favorite city? Favorite, yeah, he says something like that. Correct. Um, what about what about what about Miss Miss Sanchez? Is she an English student or does she study something else? Is she an English student? She's a business student. Exactly. He's a business. I mean, she is a business student. Correct. All right. And what She's about what what about what about Minho's brother? Where is his brother uh, right now? He's at home and he's uh, from Korea. Korea. Yeah, he's in South Korea, right? And what is he doing yeah, right now? Yes. What is he and doing he's right now? He's at home because he's not in the university in the uni in mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. university. Yeah, and do you remember the name of the university? Mm -hmm. What's the name of the university in Seoul? Seoul yeah, that one, right? Yeah, Seoul <laughs> University. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's let's come back to the main session. But Lorena and Rosa, be ready, please to share the information. For example, if I ask you, Lorena, please uh, talk about your, your partners. You're gonna talk about Rosa and Janeth personal information, okay? Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break the, the rooms right now. I'm gonna close the rooms right now. All right, so welcome back everyone. We're gonna put everything in practice right now, okay? So now that I have everybody in front of the screens, uh, I mean, raise your hand, you know, manually. Let's raise your hand manually, <laughs> just like this. And tell me, teacher, I want to share my partner's information. All right, so Lena first and then Delia, all right? One more, a third one, we need a third one. We got Lorena, Delia, and then who else? Me. All right, Carla, we close it with this. Okay, deal or no deal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <I> trato, no. <laughs> deal. Yes, Daniel. Yes. <laughs> deal. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so Lorena, go ahead, please. Okay, I'm going to talk about my. Okay. Uh, my name is Lopez. Uh, I see. Lotus L O P C. She lives in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. Her birthday is on April the third. Uh, her, her color, her favorite color is black. Mm -hmm. And her hobby is washing moon. All right, only one hobby. Let me see. Only one hobby. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. So and now it was. Who, who was it? Who was the next one? Delia, right? Delia. Yes, Delia. Go ahead, please. Yo pregunto. ¿A quién? Juan? No, no. Who did you practice with, Delia? Did you practice with, I don't know, with Christopher, Roberto? Who did you practice Christopher? with? Uh, Christopher? Christopher. Uh, no, but... You, but, but right now, Delia, you're not going to ask anybody. You're going to share the information that you wrote. Okay. Ah, no, la práctica que hicimos. Yes, the practice you did. Correct. Ah, okay. Eh, eh, what? No, sería first name, Fernando. Last name. Yeah, but let me, let, me, let me just interrupt you. Whether we we got to use the possessive adjective. You can say, so I spoke to Fernando. His, his first name is. And ah, his, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, he's Fernando. Uh, he's, he's. Last name is Duran. Uh, mm -hmm. From he's from Colón, La Libertad. Okay. Uh, your birthday. Uh, my. Siempre sería his. Your <laughs> my. No. no, your. Uh, no, uh, his. His. Sorry, his. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, his birthday is um, seven. November, November 7, I think. 7 right, we're November. talking about him, right? We're talking about him, so Fernando. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, uh -huh. uh, Fernando, his uh, color, his favorite color is blue. Okay, all right. Uh, 
Fernando, eh, he's uh, watching hobby. Ah, no, 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 pero sorry. Eh, his favorite color, ya dije, blue. His hobby is watch videos. Okay, okay. his favorite hobby is to watch video on YouTube, he said, right? Yes. Yes. All right, so thank you. Who was the last one? Uh, thank you, uh, Delia. And with this, we almost say goodbye. Noemi, right? Me. <laughs> Yes, go ahead, please, Noemi. My partner is Frank Gonzalez. His first name is Elwin. Does not have a favorite color. He was born on November 3. His hobby is taking photography. All right, okay. So, um, November the 3rd, you said, the 3rd. All right, the third. So we say, yeah, we say first, second, third, and then we will continue with that. All right. Um, <laughs> you're in the spot over here. There we go. Nice. Last activity because we still have, let's see how much time we have left. I have a chronometer. We have still seven minutes. Okay, so we still have time. Now it's reading practice for you. Okay, so it's a reading practice for you. Oh, let me just one second come here. Let me just get the this information. All right, here we go. One second. If you're ready, a word on the platform. So most likely you were able to see this uh, reading. It's the same reading. So in the next five minutes that are left before the class is over, we're gonna read this. And then uh, I'm going to send you to work in purse to try to complete the questions related to this, to the listening, I mean, to the reading, okay? So right now I'm going to choose who's gonna help me read, the reader, readers over here, okay? So I'm gonna start with Roberto because your hand is raised. And go ahead, please. You, you read the first paragraph, okay? Until here. Okay. Your name is very important. Uh huh. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. Okay. Fine. okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's, your name is very important. When you think uh, of yourself, you probably. Of your probably. name first. Mm -hmm. To probably think it, of your name first. Yeah, but right it's now. An, it, it is an important uh, part of your identity. It's an important right part. Now. Hold on, hold on. Let me just right get The two mouse. Hold on. I, I just mute, muted your microphones over here. So, Roberto, right. you're going to help us read, please. And the rest, okay. please just be muted, if you don't mind. Thank you. Okay, your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Thank you. And then Arelis, uh, Arelis, please help us. Este... I mean, right now. Um, right now. now. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now the two most popular names for babe, ba babies or babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emma for girls. Why are these names popular and why are of other names unpopular? Okay, I think we're gonna do something uh, better. I'm going to send you to practice in purse and then you just take terms, ¿verdad? Tomamos turnos. We take terms, reading. Once you're done reading, uh, I'm going to send to you this and you're gonna answer it with your classmate, okay? I think in that, I think in that way, everybody will have an opportunity to, to practice. So I'm sending you uh, again to the breaker room so you can practice in purse. All right, so one sec, come over here. There's going to be just one group of, of uh, three, all right? And here we go. 
So uh, Christopher is with Delia, and then we, and with Noemi, Frank is with Carla, Anna with Jacqueline, Arely with Ernesto, Lorena with Jeanette, Kevin with Mauricio. So join the rooms, please. I'm going to get a, a I'm going to send this to you right now, okay? Yes. Okay. Empecemos. ¿Quién? Bye. Ahí está. Thank you. Your name is very important when you think of yourself. You probably think of your name. El celular no. Your name first. In this important part of your identity, identity. Okay. Uh, okay. Ahora. Right now, most popular name for babies in the United States are Jacob, Jacob for Jacob. boys, and Emma for girls. Are these names popular? Unpopular. And right. why are. Sorry? No, no, I'm sorry. Continue. Okay. Continue. Continue. And why are other names unpopular? Uh, unpopular, okay. we got um, uh, unpopular and then Jacob and then identity. Remember that. Very yeah. popular. Okay, thanks. Okay. Uh, names can become popular because of famous. Generally, every other way. Comienzo yo, si gusta. If you like, I can start. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't, go the, don't take the easy way out, Frank. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I start. Your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important pay part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for boys and Emma for girls. Why are these names popular and why are other names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive themes. The unpopular names suggest negative themes. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are the some common opinions about name from a recent survey. So why do parents give their children popular names? One reason is tradition. Many people are named or after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time and name that is unpopular now may become popular in the future. That's it good news for all the jerks and berries out there. Mm -hmm. Like here in Salvador, right, Jose Luis, you know, so that's very common name, right? Because of Jose Luis Perales. You know, I have a cousin. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I have I have a cousin whose name is Luis Miguel. I have a cousin, you know, whose name really? is Luis Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his father, his father is yeah, we can say it a singer, you know, he has this uh, a small uh, band, so that's why. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think the class is over, so we're not going to be able to finish the question. So we're going to leave them for Monday or just for the platform, uh, Carla and Frank. Okay. okay. So Thank let's you. go back. Let's go back to the main station. Just one thing. Uh, pronunciation, identity or identity, identity or identity. It, it's, ah. it doesn't matter. Identity. But identity is the most common one. Athletes, okay. athletes, At athletes, athletes. Right? And in important, 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 <laughs> it's mm -hmm. important. important. 
Yes, or but if you say if you say important, it's not it's not that good. But if you say important, important. just like that, it's better. Okay. okay. Popular and unpopular. Popular and popular. All right. And here we said okay. positive. You know, positive tense. You know, positive tense. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thank so you. let's. I'm gonna uh, close the rooms right now. Let's go back to the main session. All right. So uh, welcome back, everyone. Um, so the class is over right now, but that doesn't mean that. I mean, you're going to stop learning. Okay. The job is not done yet. What you're going to do over the weekend is to complete the platform at Inglés Corporativo. And this rhythm, it's on unit one. The name of the unit is Please Call Me Beth. And this is the last exercise that you're going to find in the platform. Okay, so that means that you're going to see these questions, but in a, in a digital way. All right, so what you have to do is read the conversation you know, silently in your mind and then take notes to answer this. So you don't have to send anything to me. If you want to send it to me, that's okay. You know, I can't help you. You know, no problem. Next week, we're going to start section two and other topics and more conversations. Thanks God, we made it through the first week. You know, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, trust me. I know it's difficult to be here, but we don't like to take the easy way out, remember. <laughs> yeah. So have a great weekend. Take care. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you Bye, next week. See you next week, everyone. Okay. Good night. All right. So good night, everyone. Good night.